Hey guys, it's Tammy from Never Too Late to Quit. Today's video is an Aegis review. We're going to be reviewing Charlie's Chalk Dust, and this is Honey Badger. And I hope you can see that and the light is not glaring too much. Right now we're actually in the midst of moving into a new place. I'm so excited because I'm going to have a dedicated YouTube area. I'm going to actually have really nice lighting set up. I'm going to have a sofa. It's going to be really nice to have that dedicated area and not have to sit on the edge of my bed half the time and do my YouTube videos. So... I'm hoping to have all the lighting issues fixed and just the quality of my videos improved um, once we move. So I decided to do the Charlie's Chalk Dust tonight and I decided to do the Honey Badger and I kind of really like this. I don't know if you can see that. And I kind of decided this one because it is a tobacco based e-juice. Now I know a lot of new vapors have just quit smoking and you still might be craving that tobacco flavor but maybe wanting to start to experiment a little bit with some flavors um when i quit smoking and started vaping i went directly into the flavors um i think my first flavor was um fuzzy peach and i just went directly into but my sister and my brother-in-law and my mom when they quit smoking and went into vaping, they stayed with the tobacco flavors. So I thought this might be a good um, flavor to do for those people that are still liking the tobacco, but wanting to start to add a little bit of flavor, kind of kick up their current tobacco flavor profile. So we're going to try this out. So I already have my device. This is my Kangertac Dripbox 160. I'm going to be doing my taste test on that. And I already have it wicked up. I've dropped some e-juice on there and I'm going to put a little bit more after we do the smell test. So I'm going to shake this. So we're going to give this a smell. To be truthfully honest, the very first um, scent that hits my nose is almost like a powder sent to me um which kind of makes sense charlie's chalk dust so i don't know it almost reminds me not of baby powder but of some kind of powder i mean it doesn't smell bad at all i can definitely smell like a honey or a sweet scent but it smells like powder to me. I don't know how this is going to taste. I'm a little bit scared now. I mean, I don't want to vape baby powder. So I'm just dripping. Yeah, I am a little bit nervous. I mean, I've heard lots of good things about Charlie's chalk dust. I guess I'm going to find out. Okay, so I'm going to probably start my wattage at, let's go to 60 and start there. So I've got my device set to 60 watts, and I'm going to go ahead and give this a vape. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is actually really good. I can definitely taste that honey. It's not overly sweet, but it is sweet. I actually really like this. The flavor of this, I'm definitely picking up that honey and just a little bit of that tobacco undertone. The tobacco to me is an undertone. I really like it. It is a nice smooth vape. Not much of a throat hit. It's pretty smooth. I can definitely taste that honey and definitely taste that tobacco, but it's a very mild undertone. Hmm, it's actually really nice. Now, this doesn't fit my normal flavor profile. I usually like my dessert vapes. Starting to enjoy a lot of the fruity vapes. I'm not really a tobacco vape lover. Um, 
But this is really nice. I think it would be a really nice e-juice for those of you that are still into the tobacco flavors, but maybe want to kind of spice it up a little. Um, Charlie's Chalk Dust Honey Badger definitely does not necessarily taste the way it smells. When I smelt it and did the smell test, I got a lot of a powdery scent or vibe to it. Um, I couldn't really kind of nail what I was smelling. I could definitely sense the sweetness of the honey. It's got a really nice smooth flavor. The flavors all seem to work really well together. There's definitely honey in there. It definitely does capture the sweetness of that tobacco flavor. And I think it would be a really awesome e-juice, again, for those people who are still enjoying tobacco flavors, but just want to kick it up a little bit and have a little tobacco flavored treat. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the e-juice. I went on to dashvapes.com and this is a Canadian website. I will provide an American website in the information or description box below where you can go and find this if you're in the States. But here in Canada you can get it at dashvapes.com and it is available in a 30 ml bottle. It is $14.99 Canadian, so it's a pretty good price. It's an awesome price for 30 mils. Um, you can get it in 0, 1.5, 3, 6, 12, and 18 milligrams nicotine, and it is a 70 VG30 PG. It is also available in its original glass bottle, or you can get it in a unicorn bottle which is excellent for people like me who have hand dexterity issues. Um, the unicorn bottles are usually much easier to open. I'm actually really surprised at the flavor of the e-juice. Again, it's just not something that I would vape. I'm not into the tobacco flavors. I never have been. But definitely if you still like tobacco flavors, and you want to kick it up a notch, try something different, live on the edge, be a little dangerous, you can try Charlie's Chalk Dust Honey Badger. It's definitely worth trying for the price point, and it really is an awesome, really good e-juice. Um, the clouds seem to be pretty good too. Let's take a, another rape. So pretty good clouds. It is a higher VG at 70%. And wow, it tastes a lot better than it smelled. Actually, it smelled good, but it smelled like something more I wanted to put on my skin or something, smell nice, you know. Um, but the taste really is really good um, for a tobacco based e juice. So, with that, I'm going to sign off for now. And just remind you that even if you're somebody like me who has cancer or another chronic illness, it is never too late to quit. It is never too late to quit smoking. I really highly encourage that if you haven't taken that step, sit down, do some research. Um, Google vaping um, versus smoking or something like that and really educate yourself or try to get as much information on vaping. It is the only method that worked for me. It's not necessarily the only method to quit smoking. There's lots of different ways you can successfully quit smoking, but it is the only way that worked for me. And I really highly encourage you to consider taking the step and quit smoking. So until next time, if you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave your comments in the comment section below, and until next time, guys, Happy vaping.